such as life, an ever-changing meaning. With bated breath, I start to feel complete. A new chapter begins. For me. For us. Mmm. Hey, sorry for being late. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, where's Mr. Davenport? He's inside, waiting on us. I didn't want to go in alone. Well, I really hope we like this place. You know we're in a bit of a time crunch, mm -hmm. so we can't rush this. You know I require certain things because I'll be working from home now. I just hope I'm not making a big mistake. How? It's a big risk I'm taking. Leaving a really good paying job to follow my passions. Babe, you did something that most people would never do. Walk away from sleeping behind the desk all day. It was a check. A guaranteed check of that. Look, I'm giving this two years. Right. One, two. Okay? Okay. And if nothing comes from it, I'm gonna go back to my old job. When are you gonna let me take a look at this book of poetry? And, uh, how many of them are about me? <laughs> well, you don't need to worry about that. And you'll see it when I finish it. I just need some more inspiration, you know? I just feel so stagnant. Wait, stagnant? How? Yeah. Well, this book has to be perfect. What if the publisher thinks it's trash? Or what if by winging a prayer, it gets published and it flops because nobody buys it? Baby, listen to me. <sighs> you are talented as fuck. He scouted you from an open mic off of a YouTube video. Do you understand how lucky you are? are? I know, I know. It's a one in a million chance. I've heard this all before. Exactly. And how hard can a book of poetry and haikus be anyway? Especially when you write one every day. Very hard. I can't force it. Well, maybe this neighborhood will stir up some creativity for you. Maybe this place will be good for us. Mm, I mean, I doubt it. From what I'm looking at, it looks pretty nice. And then the people are friendly, I guess. I mean, I was walking down the street and somebody smiled at me. See? Yeah. Well, let's do this. Hey, you guys. Hi. This is Davenport. Oh, please, call me Jabril. Oh, Jabril, Gary. I'm Logan. We talked on the phone also. Uh, yes, I remember from our conversations. Um, um come on. Okay, so I know I gave you the impression that I would be the sole renter, but Gary's gonna also be seeing you. Oh, uh, well this is actually a one bedroom. I can give you guys a call when there's a two bedroom available. <laughs> so neat. Uh, he's my boyfriend. What? Shut up. Oh, that's, that's not a problem. Let's see, it's not a problem. Uh, Jabril has a husband. Oh, well, Gary sometimes just doesn't know when to shut up. Yep, it's cool. Yes, I'm married. I see you've uh, done your homework on me. Well, uh, when Gary gave me your last name, I decided to look you up. Well, I hope you don't believe everything that you read. A lot of it's just... Exaggerated stories for more clicks. Hmm. I can imagine the headache it has on your personal life. I mean, everyone can be such a social climber nowadays. Yeah, I think the trick is to not let outside fodder just, you know, penetrate whatever you hold sacred. I agree. Nice countertop. So is uh, everything else new in here? Yes. Uh, everything was just remodeled about a year ago. I mean, hence all the construction outside. Part of the Appearance. Um, yeah, I just recently bought the building. It actually has a lot of, you know, history to it. It was once known as Millionaire's Row back in the day during the whole boom and railroad industry. Mm. You know, when we first started looking, this wasn't originally on the market. Somebody just moved out? <laughs> yes, um, the previous tenant um, had to vacate immediately. Um, he canceled his lease and went back home or wherever. I don't know. But um, they also left all this furniture, so feel free to take it or you can get your own. Yeah, really? 
His loss. Um, so, uh, let me show you the rest of the part. Follow me. So, do you guys have any more questions for me? Yeah. Uh, how long is the lease? The lease is four year, um, with the option to renew 60 days before the end date. Okay. How are the neighbors? The building is pretty quiet. It's only five apartments per floor. Good. We like our privacy. Well, I like what I see of Easton so far. Mm, Easton definitely has character. Is there any place to get a nice drink around here? Quite a few. Um, do you guys need some more time? Yeah, can you give us just a minute? All right, uh, sure. I'll be in the hallway. Oh, Jabril, thank you. No problem. So, I like it. Mm. It's within our budget. It's practically a seal. The kitchen is huge since you like to cook. Mm. And uh, the counter is big enough for us to use after dinner. Mm. Okay. Well, that sounds good, but just remember to keep up. Last few times I lasted you. <laughs> that doesn't count. The last couple of times I was tired, and you can always ask for a rematch. <laughs> well, we just need to get into the apartment first. I don't know, babe. I mean, do you think we'd still be able to afford it and be comfortable? Yeah, I mean, he seems cool if we were ever a little late. But we have to worry about paying for utilities, water, internet, cable. What does that matter? I mean, you know I'm probably going to be getting this promotion, so I'm transferring it. I don't want you to feel like you're going to be responsible for everything. Babe, I told you already. You made a pact. I'm going to support you until your book is complete. But babe... But what? Come here. Easton would be good for us. We're starting our lives here. All right. I believe you. Doing this or what? Yes. We do this. So, what's the deal? We'll take it. Great choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we could have stayed in the house and made something to eat, right? Well, yeah, but we just moved in and there's nothing in the refrigerator. I mean, I could have whipped up a little something, something. <laughs> nah, I'll pass on those oodles and noodles that you remix and call them you. <laughs> it's pasta. And stop acting like you'll be fucking them up on the low. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Let's just order drinks. You know, Jabril recommended this place. Oh, did he? Yeah. He did when he dropped off the copy of the lease. What did you think about it? It's cool. Okay. So, um, when do you start work? Oh, Monday. I still want to start on my birthday, you know? Hmm. Which reminds me. So, I was thinking about stuff that, you know, you wanted to do. Uh, we could probably take a trip to New York City, or we could go to the spa, or, wait for it, we could do something a little bit more simple this time, you know, like just dinner and a movie. What do you think? Uh, I mean, we've done that all before. I just want to stay home and try something new. Hmm. What comes to mind? I mean... Well, you only turned 30 once, so... Okay. So... I've just been thinking about, you know... I just want to be different, something spontaneous. Mm. Hey, just... Just let it out. I got you. <laughs> I mean... We've been together for five wonderful years, mm -hmm. and I love you, and get to the point, baby. 
I love you. We're eventually gonna be married. Gotcha. Yeah. And I've just been thinking about it. I was thinking about maybe bringing in a third person. In what? You know. A threesome? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so where did this thought come from? I mean, I've been thinking about it for a while now. I just didn't know how to say it to you. It's not like I want to cheat on you or anything like that. Or want to see another man. It's, I love you. And I just want to be spontaneous. Try something different. How long have you been thinking about this? For a minute now. I mean, it's been some time. And it's not because I tried anything or I just, being with you just makes me want to be less of a dick. Well, I mean, we talked about this years ago and you were so against it. What changed? I mean, I changed. I was different then. We were different. And two years in this relationship wasn't enough time for me. Mm. So what you think? Well, I didn't say no. Yeah. I'll think about it. Let's just order some food. Yes. Okay. Order some food. You know, I think it's really cool how we got a whole furnished apartment. Let's do it. Huh? Let's do it first. Really? Are you sure?
Nope. Heat combo. What about you? <laughs> yeah, I saw some cute guy with walk pads, but you left. So what happened? Oh, it was just small talk, man. He didn't really give me any vibes that he would be down. Alright, so let's go outside. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. This place is corny. <laughs> All of my legs. Huh? Hey, yo, bro. You know where I can get some weed? Maybe. Didn't I see you inside? Yeah. Wasn't much to look at him. The view is nice out here. What about him? He's cute. He is, but will he be down? I don't know. Let's see. So y'all want some weed or what? Nah. Did you play? Just hold it. Get attention with it. <laughs> You're right. That's why I keep him around. He's a good sense of humor. Oh, y'all together? Yeah. Is we that hard? Is that a problem? That's your business. Just start. Yeah. What's up? Well. What's your name? Tyreek, but I go by Ty. Okay. I'm Logan. This is my boyfriend, Gary. We just moved here. And we are looking to get into something tonight. Something like what? We're just coming to our place and chill. His birthday is at midnight. Anybody else want to be there? Just us. You know? So you don't chill with people I just met. <laughs> Motherfuckers is crazy. <laughs> So you mean to tell me you never had a one night sin? Of course. Who hasn't? So consider this one. We'll have drinks. We can smoke. And then we can see what happens later. You down? So, uh, can I get you anything else to drink? Okay. Okay. Cool. okay. Uh, so, I'll be doing this. <laughs> Don't you uh, get undressed? Let me get another shot. Oh. So you're really gonna get naked? Cool. Well, you wear underwear like that on the regular? Yeah. Never know what you're gonna get into. I'm only one of my drills, so y'all kind of get naked with me.
hold up. We have rules. No kissing. And we're in control. Right. We are in control. That's going to be a problem. Nobody, and I mean nobody, controls me. So we can have fun. I'm safe, of course. I can be on my way. Safe always. But we, we're not looking to get fucked. We're looking to fuck. So we just want to have fun and do what we want. Oh, really? <laughs> I know what you, you seem uptight. I know what you mean. That's not really happening. Yeah. It did. Okay. Are you okay? I'm cool. I just... Last night just made me realize that... I don't want anybody else but you. Why do you regret it? 
it's cold. And now that I'm thinking about it, it was actually kind of hard. And watching you please somebody was a little weird to me at first. And it started to turn around. Yeah, you were way more into the Uh, excuse me? Um, we were both having sex. Were we not supposed to be into it? Yeah, but you let him kiss you. Nigga, he kissed you too. Listen. I want to talk about this right now. It's my birthday. So let last night stay last night. Hmm. Agree? Baby. Yes, baby. When were you going to tell me about this letter? What's that? This letter from the cable company denying service unless you make a $300 deposit. Hmm. I'll handle it. But you told me the cable guy was coming on Friday. Yeah, he's still coming on Friday. I made the appointment. What's the problem? Do you even have the money for it? Yes, I have the money for it. Don't worry about it. But why do you have to make a deposit? Can we please just talk about this in the morning? It's still your birthday, baby. Mm. No, let's talk about it now. Okay. okay. Because if your credit's bad, I can help you. But if you're lying about it, I can't do that. That's not going to work. Why? Okay, you're doing too much. When we moved in here, I told you that I would be able to take care of the cable. Why is this such a big deal now? If it's nothing, then why is it hidden in your journal? If you need the money, I can help you. I can have it by tomorrow. Oh my God, I've got this. And stop trying to ruin the mood. I mean, we were just having a good time. See, I need you to be more financially responsible while you're not working. Okay, you are my boyfriend. Not my dad. Well, maybe if your dad was in your life, you'd be more responsible and disciplined with your money. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that you're more responsible because your dad was in your life? Yeah, I am. And you don't see how narrow-minded that sounds. That's my truth. And your truth is some bullshit. You know what? You're always looking down on somebody. But I'm not even looking down on you. You just accuse me. 
of not being financially responsible because my dad wasn't in my life. And you took that the wrong way. No. I'm taking it exactly how you said it. Where are you going? I am sleeping on the couch. Baby, wait. Chill out. Let's talk about this. You know what? Sometimes your head is so far up your ass, you don't even see me. Baby, let's just talk this out, okay? Come on, it's my birthday. You have the bedroom to yourself. Enjoy it. Can I get some cakes up? Nigga, if you don't get your ass. Ooh. And you're just gonna put it in my face like that, huh? 